Right now, I have a job to do, and I need your support. It's time to kill the Dark Ancestor. We have to go before the throne explodes. Hurry up, let's go. Oh my god, it's like all actually working. How do I destroy the human realm? There is only one human left to exist in the universe. Your friend, Julia. No, there has to be another way. Julia Julia's like the most important person. I take back everything I said earlier. You're mad. I would never sacrifice Julia. She must be willing to sacrifice herself. I've always been simple and plain. I don't like this about me. I am to choose my husband today. I am just so confused. I love them each for different reasons. I have decided. The future king, my newest husband, and my one true love. Ah! Hey guys, it's Gabriella, and welcome back to another episode of Emerald. If you haven't seen the other episodes in the series, you can check them out in that playlist right up there. We're on the second to last episode, I think. It says episode 30 of 31, so I think we only have two more left, because sometimes, like, I think we have two more, but that's only one more, so I don't know, let's see. <laughs> but uh, before we get started, make sure you're following me on all my social medias. We have Snapchat, Gabriella Scory. You can follow us on Instagram, for kids gaming and Gabrielle Scory, and you can also follow us on Twitter. All right, let's see. I think we have two left, but I have no idea how they're gonna wrap like anything up. Hi, Emerald fans. I just wanted to say this for the last episode. So this is the last episode. What the heck? Oh, oh no! It's gonna make me so sad. Don't leave me. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you. Blah blah blah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Enjoy the. Lifetimes ago, in the beginning, Aww. there were only the stars, but after trillions of years, the stars were starting to die out. The stars did not want to cease to exist, so they found a way to convert their energy into what we now call a soul. Oh my gosh. They, in their new form, would be vulnerable and weak. They needed someone to provide protection and keep their surroundings balanced. <gasps> so therefore, a life was created among the stars. This life was to be the next creator and protector of souls. The god of all gods. <gasps> oh my god. And so, <gasps> what is happening? Oh my gosh. Ah, the Realm Guardian was born. The Realm Guardian created various realms. This provided balance for the souls who inhabited the realms. The Realm Guardian, however, needed a leader for each realm. So, she had created her own children. These children were to maintain the balance of the spirits by protecting their designated realms. Oh my goodness, the chills, the chills. <sighs> For a million of years, the realms maintained peace and were all happy until one day. <gasps> oh no. One of her children became angry. <gasps> oh. He was jealous of his brother, the protector of the light realm. He felt cheated by his mother, who placed him in charge of the most hated realm. So he decided to take matters into his own hands. I will destroy you, brother! And I will show mother that I deserve better than this! Reminds me of a certain ancient Greek story, just throwing it out there. <laughs> she watched her son begin destroying the peace and harmony among her realms. The stars were furious and demanded his execution. She was the only one who could destroy him. Aww! The realm guardian could not bear to kill her own child. She begged the stars for their mercy. The stars, however, declined. <gasps> she ultimately refused to kill her own son, and so... For her treason, the star sentenced her <gasps> to her death. Oh my goodness! <gasps> what in the heck? The stars had to create another being, another leader, someone to relinquish the balance. 
but the child had to be hidden somewhere safe. The dark ancestor could not know about her whereabouts, and so the stars decided to hide the child in the human realm. Oh, Emerald! They observed a deserving couple of pure spirits who just so happened to have been praying for a child. Below the glow of the moon, near a small cabin, just outside the kingdom of Roland, the couple heard cries in the night. The cries of Emerald, the light child, present day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's tell our friends your plan. <gasps> oh. Wait, can I change my, no I can't, okay. I was like, I feel like changing, but I guess I can't. Well, if it isn't the dark spirit herself, sassy pants, show them, Emerald. You know I'm tired of your mouth. Enough, all of you. Yeah, you tell them, girl. Zach, you're a dark spirit. No one judges you for that. And Charles, you never told anyone why you were kicked out of the light realm, but no one bothered to ask or judge you from your past. Julia, you put your trust in them, but not in your own friend? Everyone makes mistakes. It's how we choose to deal with those mistakes that matter. So right now, I have a job to do, and I need your support. Can you please just try to help me? I don't even want their help. <laughs> Her words cut like a razor to their hearts. They had been foolish to expect so much trust from her, yet not offer the same respect in return. I'm sorry, Emerald. I trust you. Me too, Emerald. I'm sorry, Emerald. Whatever, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, we are all friends again. It's time to kill the dark ancestor. Let's do this. <laughs> What's the plan? The Dark Ancestor spends a majority of his time in the human realm. With him gone, it leaves the realm vulnerable. I can destroy his realm as long as he's not in it. <gasps> oh my goodness. Charles and Dahlia, that's where you come in. Charles, you must keep the Dark Ancestor distracted. He needs to be so distracted he can't sense me entering of its realm. Dahlia, you must transport all the humans you can find into the Aurora realm. Because I possess all magic, I'm able to enter the Dark Realm. Zack, you are also half Dark Spirit. I need you to distract any spirits from me while I go to his throne. Oh my goodness! If I can destroy his throne, the Dark Realm will cease to exist. But this doesn't kill him. No, but it does restore some balance and make him half as strong. What about me? Julia, you're worthless, okay? You can just sit in the corner. <laughs> You will greet and help the new humans settle in when they're transported. Does everyone understand the plan? So we're we making like the Aurora realm, like the new like realm for like the world. Oh my goodness. Oh, is everything gonna go off without a hitch? Charles and Dahlia had just arrived at the human realm. <gasps> Let's get to it. Yes. So they're gonna get all the humans. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh! Zack and Emerald had begun their part of the plan. Everything's all clear. Go while I keep watch. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my gosh. <gasps> How much is just trying it? Oh my gosh, did she do it? We have to go before the throne explodes. Hurry up, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's like all actually working! Emerald and Zack made it out just in time. Although Emerald had successfully destroyed the Dark Realm, there was still much working needed done. Meanwhile, in the human realm. Oh my gosh. Hurry, let's go. Emerald contacted me and said she is finished. We can't leave now. I have found no humans. There's no more time. We have to go now. Oh my gosh, they can even do their part of the plan. Are you kidding me? Come back here. Look, there's another one. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. So what's the plan now? What do you mean no humans have been sent in? No one has been sent yet. Something is very wrong. <gasps> what's going on? <gasps> it's, it's the lady spirit. Sky, what am I doing here? What's wrong? You have done well. But now, there is a final stage. We must kill the dark ancestor and his queen. We will grant them permission to our realm. He will not refuse this offer. 
Well, we have them there. You will destroy the human realm. After you destroy the human realm, the Light Ancestor will send his Light Spirit to your realm. Then he will destroy the Light Realm with himself and the Dark Ancestor inside. What? No! There has to be another way! There is no other way to maintain the balance of the universe. All realms must be gone. What? We must now have one realm, one leader, a united realm of all spiritualities. This will also help prevent war in the future years as well. Oh my goodness! How do I destroy the human realm? <gasps> what, Sky? The only way for this realm to cease to exist is if every last pure human has fallen. When a realm's intended life inhabitants are gone, and there is no other being within the realm to lay claim, the realm ceases to exist. It will simply vanish. There is only one human left to exist in the universe. <gasps> Zach? Your friend, Julia. Oh my gosh! <gasps> so Julia's like the most important person. I take back everything I said earlier. You're mad! I would never sacrifice Julia. She must be willing to sacrifice herself. Oh my gosh! No! Why? Everyone I care about must always die. It must be done or all is lost. Ah! No way! Stop! Oh my goodness! Admiral did not know how she was going to explain this to Julia, but when she transported back to the Aurora Realm, she immediately found Julia. Oh my goodness! They walked in silence for some time. Admiral didn't know how to ask her to do this, especially when she was torn over it herself. Finally, Julia broke the silence. Emerald, Emerald, say something! What is wrong? <gasps> Julia, I don't know how to start. Oh my goodness! Just tell me, please! And so, finally, Emerald began. <gasps> oh my gosh! She explained everything that Skye had said to her, how the Dark Ancestor could be destroyed, and how the light realm and human realm must be destroyed. She also told Julia about the cost of such a victory. <gasps> oh, it must be a willing sacrifice. I can all this is happening. Emerald. <gasps> I've always been the sidekick. I've never been able to be a hero. I've always been simple and plain. I don't like this about me. I always wanted something more. I must admit, I became jealous of you. I was jealous because I was never given the opportunity to play an important part in this universe. I have finally received this opportunity. If I did this, it would not only be for the lives of those I love, but for myself. <gasps> oh my gosh, so she's gonna sacrifice herself so everyone can live. I will do it. <gasps> She said her goodbyes to Emerald, but asked Emerald, as her final wish, to tell no one why she had gone until the deed was done. She did not want anyone to try and stop her from what needed to be done. <gasps> oh my goodness! Julia! <gasps> she held the knife to her abdomen. She felt the ice cold blade brushing her skin. Oh no! Julia! Never forget what I did for the ones I loved. <gasps> she plucks the knife deep into her stomach. Oh my god! Julia! I'm like actually going to cry. <gasps> Finally, you have come to your senses and decided to surrender. Wait, what are you doing? I told you it was a trick. No, don't, please! Oh my gosh, the Dark Ancestor had finally met his end. With all the love, with all the pain, and with all the sacrifice, the balance of the universe was finally restored. Emerald 
could rule justly in their new home, the Aurora Realm. Peace was finally theirs. Dahlia, Charles, Zack, and Emerald. Yes, even Skye. They only had each other now. They would start to rebuild their lives together. As a family, the Dark Ancestor's reign had ended swiftly. His chair upon the helpless. It was finally over. Oh my gosh, one year later. Oh. Emerald had spent the last year building onto her new realm. Her life was finally returning to normal. A new normal at least. <gasps> she rebuilt her castle in the likeness of Roland Castle. It was, after all, considered home to so many. Well, what do you think? I think the ballroom looks great. I can't believe we are finally having our first royal ball. I'm sure Julia would be happy to know you had her declared a hero and have her day of honor declared as a holiday. Oh, I miss her. We all do, Emerald. Thank you so much for being a good friend to me this last year. I don't know what I would have done without you. Of course, I would do anything for you. Now, you know what today is also, right? Yes, I know. You can't hide from them forever, you know. What? I know. Emerald had broke things off from Zack. <gasps> what? After the whole ordeal with Julia, Charles had confessed his true feelings for Emerald. She decided to take time apart from them. She provided them their own apartments in the furthest wing of the castle. She needed time to think about what she truly wanted. But today was the day. She promised everyone that today she would decide! <gasps> she had to make a choice. She could not expect them to wait on her forever. Oh, Emmy, the ballroom looks magnificent! <gasps> Sir Mom! Thank you, Mother. As you may remember, all the Light Realm spirits were sent to Aurora. This included Evelyn. After so much tragedy, at least Emerald now had her mother. What is it? I have to make my choice today. Oh yes! How could I forget you promised to choose your husband today? Cheer up, darling. I am sure you'll make the right choice. Yes, maybe you're right, mother. Thank you. Maybe you should talk to your royal advisor for help. This is a good idea, Dahlia. Well, good luck. I promised Charles and Zach to accompany them on a hunt before the ball. Probably good for their nerves anyway. Okay, of course. Thanks again. Okay, so if she gave herself a year, like, should she have figured this out before the last day? Like, this should have been, like, well decided. This is going to be such a hard choice. It's more like she just, like, decided to ignore it for an entire year. Um, excuse me. Hello, child. Emerald knew what she wanted to say, but she wasn't sure how to ask. She asked about something else instead. Um, how about the new citizens of Aurora? What are you reading? I was just curious about the building project. What building project? <laughs> I was just curious about the building project. The new walls are already constructed. The citizens are very excited about the new roads and temple. It is expected to be finished much earlier than expected. That is good news. I'm glad to hear that. Something is not right. You seem upset. You seem troubled. Stalin asked you another question. Get to the point. I mean, she might as well just get to the point. Are you still having nightmares? Yes, most nights, but not as bad as before. Although the dark ancestor was finally gone, she still recalled that terrible night over and over in her dreams. It all happened so fast. It was surreal. Not everything is as drawn out as we would expect. Time was not on our side. The end was certainly hectic and tragic for all. I suppose not everything's always as we expect them to be. I just wish I could have saved more people and Julia. This is life. Not everything is what you expect. I know, life can be far from cruel sometimes. But now 
You have an opportunity for happiness. We cannot change the past. You can choose to make your present and future worthwhile. Yes, I suppose this is true. Thank you for your wise counsel. You are welcome. But I feel you have more you seek counsel for. You are right. This is not the real reason I came to see you. I assumed so much. I am to choose my husband today. I am just so confused. I love them each for different reasons. They each bring out a unique side of myself. No matter what I do, someone will be hurt. Time heals all wounds. This is about you, Emerald. You must put yourself first for once. You will know what to do. You really think so? I know so, child. I'm so happy I made you my advisor, Sky. You are so wise. It is my honor. <gasps> oh. It's time. Do not worry. You'll make the right choice. I swear, if they make me choose, I'm gonna lose my mind. Thank you, Sky. Hurry, child. They must be waiting. Okay, thanks again. I don't want to choose! I don't want to choose! It was time. Please choose for me! Emerald was finally able to choose her new king. For once, she was able to decide her own future. Her own new destiny. <gasps> oh, what did they make me choose? Today is the day I have promised my heart to one of you. I have decided the future king of the new Aurora realm my newest husband, and my one true love. Ah! Oh my gosh! Charles, Zach, Adalia, oh my goodness! No one? Ah! Guys! Oh my gosh, okay, okay, let's think this through, let's think this through, okay. My heart, okay. I never really was behind the whole Zack thing after I found out that he was like William's brother and like she loved William so much but then like you know like Zack like I feel like it never really like progressed more than like oh we had like one flirty night and that was kind of fun but like with Charles like they had all the training and like he was like her one friend when she first like got thrown into everything and then like they kind of loved each other and were like pulled towards each other from that so I think I think I want Charles I think we're gonna go I want Charles Charles! Ah! Oh my goodness! You have offered me protection and kindness. You understand me better than anyone. You have been there for me whenever I needed you. You are a selfless and comforting soul. You bring out a side of me that makes me feel strong and powerful. I love you, Charles! Oh, oh Emerald, I love you so much! Oh my goodness! To every end is a new beginning, and so it began, a new beginning for all. <sighs> that night, the entire kingdom celebrated their new lives in honor and Julia. They feasted and danced the night away, and they all lived happily ever after <laughs> the end. Oh. No! What? Or was it? Are you kidding me? What? That's the end of Emerald. Oh my goodness. That was... Guys, that was amazing! And it was like so much fun! Oh, my heart is aching! That was like so, so much fun! Like. Uh, I don't want it to end! Like, that was amazing! And just like, oh, it was so good! It was so long, and it was so, like, there's so much to it from, like, the start to the end. I mean, oh my gosh, everyone grew so much. We've lost so many friends. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was amazing! Okay, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe so you do not miss a thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, I want you guys to let me know what episode series you want me to play, so leave them down below in the comments. Until then, make sure you guys check out the other awesome episode series I have done. They're in that playlist. You can keep yourself entertained until next time, but I will see you guys later. Bye! Oh, it's gone! Oh, I can't believe it's the end! Oh, so touching.